I am Luc Vaas, pianist from Ghent here in Belgium, where I now lead a research team looking at the performance practice legacy of music from after the Second World War. The research project is called Experimental Legacy. My interests have always been in the fringes of new music, such as playing on the inside of the instrument or the prepared piano, a body of work that involves radical practices and can be described as experimental music. Many of those composers and performers, involved in the 1960s and 70s, are still able to share crucial information to interpret those practices, information that could easily get lost if it's not documented. And once it is secured, however, it can be preserved and passed on to others who want to play that music. And that's the aim of my research at Orpheus. In 1992, I saw Mauricio Cargo play his own chamber music piece from 1970, Fakti. That was a revelation to me. My natural reaction was, I want to play this piece too. But there was no score. So Cargo told me he would fix the problem and then there was no time. When he died in 2008, I had to do something about it myself or not. Maybe on the basis of some recording or with the help of surviving performers to fill in the blanks. I had to see what would happen. I did find out that conventional musicological approaches are still relevant, but they're not enough. I spent a lot of time talking to witnesses, have them collaborate with me in workshops, studied ways to differentiate between copying a recording and finding room for personal interpretation. I reconstructed obsolete instruments and their performance practices, all the while experimenting with and testing the potential practice. This constitutes an artistic research approach, the core of what happens at Orpheus Institute. Such reconstructions of performance practices with or without finished scores are very close to the ideas of historically informed performance practice. But dealing with living composers can present different opportunities and challenges. And time is running out. So my experience with Tactile led to the need for a larger scale project. I've therefore assembled a cluster of artist researchers to tackle the potential full on. But as a pianist, I can only investigate my own instrument, and that's limited. So what if we brought in other instrumentalists such as Nico Cook with his guitars or Sarah, Sarah Savia, the violinist, which made us think that maybe we should also look at iconic performers such as Irvin Arditi on the violin, who's now the topic of Sarah's dissertation. And what if we investigated 1950s and 60s early live electronics? and bring in Gottfried Willem Braas, the Logos Foundation. The ultimate aim of this project is the fullest possible documentation of those historically experimental performance practices. They include the processes that led to the decisions and the intentions which steer the composers and the performers in their creative work, but the approach itself, beyond the details, can also inform other musicians and scholars to investigate many types of works that they consider problematic in their performance practice.